Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT-TV studio, I'm your host, Alexis Coletti. If you are a lifeguard or are currently being certified, Latrobe Pool is hiring lifeguards for this summer. Applications should be picked up at the Parks Department in town or completed online. Applications are due by April 5th. Interviews will be held in the middle of April. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Schmeling in Junior High Room A201. Attention seniors and juniors, please stop by the main office if you are interested in being a sixth grade camp counselor this year. Applications are due no later than April 8th. We will be back after this message. Calling all upcoming juniors and seniors, it is time again to sign up for next year's Link Crew. Link Crew is a peer mentoring and high school transition program that helps freshmen feel welcome and comfortable during their first year of high school. If you are interested in applying to being a link leader, please check your school email for the link to the online application. The deadline to apply is April 6th. We go to Sky to Malta for a check on the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time for your weather report. Today there will be a high of 64 and a low of 48 with sunny skies. Tomorrow there will be a high of 63 and a low of 28 with a 50% chance of rain. Then on Thursday there will be a high of 39 and a low of 21 with cloudy skies. That's all for weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Sky. The Fabric Arts and Design and 2D 3D art classes are in need of unwanted Barbie and Ken dolls for an upcoming project. Due to the nature of the project, the dolls cannot be returned. If you have any dolls to donate, please bring them to Ms. Koss in F202 by Monday, April 12th. Accessibilities is looking to hire graduated seniors for full-time employment positions as caregivers for youth and adults with disabilities. For more information, please reach out to Mrs. Yetter. Summer job opportunities will be posted on the next Career Pathways Google Classroom. The join code is KFOHKX7. Summer job opportunities will also be posted outside of Mrs. Yetter's office, which is across from the library. Please be sure to check frequently for new job openings. Now here is Patrick Shimko with the Wildcat Sports Report. Thanks Alexis, here's today's sports report. At 4 o'clock, the boys varsity and JV baseball teams face off against Indiana at Indiana. Also at 4 o'clock, the, the girls varsity track team has a meet against Norwin at Norwin. At 7.30, the girls varsity lacrosse team is at home playing against Baldwin. And finally, at 7.30, the boys' varsity volleyball team faces off against Armstrong at home. Now here's Brendan Kimmel with what's happening in national sports. Thanks, Patrick. Here's your national sports report. There are four NBA games tonight on, including the Hornets playing the Wizards at 7.30 and the 76ers taking on the Denver Nuggets at 9. In NHL news, there are seven games being played tonight, but your Penguins do not play until Thursday night. That's all for national sports. Back to you, Alexis. Thanks, Brennan. We go now to Harley Cochran with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. In world news, the University of Phoenix is set to pay former students $15 million in a settlement with the FTC for false advertisement. Australian government MP Andrew Laming was forced to apologize after he was accused of slandering two women online. And finally, Elon Musk's brother has started a million garden movement to plant a garden in every household living in a food desert. That's all for Rock Hard World News. Now here's Jamie Hell with entertainment news. Thanks, Harley. Today in entertainment news, award-winning actress Jessica Walter, known for her role in a television series, Arrested Development, died Wednesday in her sleep at her home in New York City at the age of 80. The cast of Glee will reunite in honor of the LGBTQ plus teens at the upcoming 32nd annual GLAAD Media Awards. The show will honor the 10-year anniversary of Santana's coming out and her impact on LGBTQ teens and Latinx LGBTQ representation on television. Lastly, be prepared for New York, which will be packed with outdoor performances this spring and summer. That's all for entertainment news. Back to you. Thanks, Jamie. We go to Emma Santora for a wellness update. Thanks, Alexis. Summer will be here before you know it, and that means most people will be traveling. So before you travel, make sure you follow the guidelines at the place where you're going. And just a reminder, make sure you, you stay six feet apart and avoid touching your face. Back to you. We will be back after this message. Attention seniors. Prom forms are now available in the principal's office. Forms need to be submitted and returned for review prior to purchasing a ticket. All forms must be turned in by April 12th. Tickets will be on sale in the Commons area during lunches from April 12th through 16th. 
Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.